Toff joins me now. You two are genuine pals. Yes. You and Stanley, I mean, you hit it off in the jungle and that has continued. I know we've been friends for about two years now. Yeah. I just adore him. <laughs> I love him. So you did this hunting thing where you've got to kind of, you know, obviously it's for stand up to cancer. Yeah. But you, you have to not be caught. <laughs> Um, your yeah. technique was something a, a bit. You were hiding in plain sight. Yeah, you can see. We've done it the Stan and Toff way, which is probably right. not the right way. Okay. He kind of just took the attitude that I don't know. He just didn't really hide. Well, this is it, and I think we made the pact together. I mean, Stan's seventy nine. Right. I'm twenty four. Of course, we were going to do it because it's so important. But also, <laughs> alongside that, we just wanted to have a bit of a jolly. Sure. And I think you know he really embraced every aspect of being on the run, and. Of of course, the trademark blonde Johnson hair, it had to go. Indeed. It just had to go. Well, exactly. <laughs> but that was about as far as it went, because apparently at one point you two were sitting, sipping champagne on the back of a boat. We might have had a glass or two. Whereas though. most people were kind of in the undergrowth somewhere. I know. You know with giving away their mobile phones we, and things and not doing anything. We didn't rough it too much. You didn't rough it too much, but yes. you did it your way. Exactly. You did it your way, that's yes. for sure. And you, uh, you two stayed friends. Mm. Um, you've been pals with everybody in, yes. in the jungle from, from your kind of... Your gang, your class. I think, you know, if you do something like the jungle, you, you form such special bonds with all those yeah, people. Of you do. Oh, I love seeing that. <laughs> yeah, we went, we had a bit of a lunch. They all came to my end of town. Oh, nice. And we went out for lunch and we had such a lovely time. And I think the friendships that I made are so, so special. Mm. And I think that's probably why Stan and I did so well because we know each other inside out. We lived together for a month. No, absolutely. Previously. Um, but yeah, I was very lucky my, with my year. There were a good year. Now, Rebecca was in that, wasn't she? Yes. Rebecca Vardy. Yeah. And she's going through a really tough time. Time right now. I mean, I, I, who knows the rights and the wrongs of it, but she's your mate and that's hard to see someone, especially somebody who's heavily pregnant, mm. no matter who was right, who was wrong, whatever, we don't know. I don't think we'll ever find out. I'm not mm. sure. But it's tough. It's hard, isn't it? It really is. And, you know, with that in mind, she is a friend of mine and mm -hmm. there is a lady who's pregnant mm. and there is another lady who's obviously very upset. It's... I really, I'd rather not talk. No, I understand. But I completely understand. It's just but so awful. It's just sad, isn't it? For when, all of us to watch as well. Like, when it's your pal. It makes me feel really uncomfortable. Because yeah. sometimes in that situation, it's a little bit like Harry and Meghan. It's like people treat them as cartoons yeah. and it starts to get a little bit unreal and they're real people. And you found that when you came out of the jungle, yes. there you are, you're getting all this, you know, we we're just talking about it there with Adam. Yeah. All this abuse on social media. As if you're, as if somehow that's, they're allowed to do that to you because yeah. you've been on the telly. It was really interesting. weird, right? Yes. Um, I only got the trolling quite badly about my skin and acne. And as soon as I came out and I said, yes, hello, everyone. I've seen all your nasty comments. I know I do struggle a little bit with spots. As soon as I owned it, the trolls stopped because I think they want to really draw out the things that you're trying to hide. Right. So and I went to such great lengths to hide my spots. And then when I said, actually, you know, this is me, mm. and I'm really proud of it. Yeah. And actually my, my spots are kind of my battle scars that I don't really want to go because okay. it's such a big part of, you know, my journey to being happy and confident. Mm. And I just noticed that they just went away. Because I think the jungle did you, did you proud. I mean, you actually said that when you came out, it made you more, obviously, yeah. it's difficult to deal with the, with the trolls. They, they are vile. I really Horrible. honestly wish Horrible. they would go away. I wish yeah. there was some way you could just press a button and they would disappear. But anyway. Okay. But that's not life, is it? <laughs> no, it's got, not. And it happens Sadly, all, no, I know it everyone. does. I know it does. But you did get, you did feel more confident. It made oh. you feel, because you did all these yeah. amazing tasks. And, yeah, exactly. And you tested yourself. I agree. And I think also it made me feel comfortable with who I am as a person. Sure. Um, um, and I'm so glad that I played it that way, you know, not playing a game. No, you didn't. You were you. Yes, which is so We can so tell, important. as an audience, we yep. can tell when somebody's oh, putting an act I do it when I sit on the sofa the and watch the television at home. <laughs> I think you're putting on yep. a show. And you know, you can <laughs> just know. tell, you can absolutely yeah. tell. So the, the whole idea of Hunted yes. was, it's for your granddad. Yes. It's because it's all about stand up to cancer. Yeah. And sadly, cancer touches us all, doesn't it, Toph? Whether yes. you're living with it or whether you're yeah. the person you love is living with exactly. it, we, we all get... Caught up in this. I think if you are in a privileged position, you know, like I am, where I'm healthy and I'm fit, you've got to go and do your thing. Yeah. Because, you know, as you mentioned, my family, we've been so touched with it. And it was a bit of a shock because I haven't had anyone close to me have it. I've been very yeah. lucky. And we've gone from hospital to hospital to waiting room. We've done it all. When I'm sat there, you know, of course, I'm, I'm crying inside for my grandfather. But I look around and the children, mm. the young people, the girlies who are just like me, are sat there suffering. Mm. And I think if you can do anything, we've got to go and do it because it's, we've got to get a, get a handle on this cancer. Couldn't put it better myself. Yeah. Thank you, love. It's always okay. a joy to see you. You're a wee breath of fresh air. You really are. Yeah. Thank you, Toph. And Celebrity Hunted continues on Sunday, yep, yeah, 9 yeah. o'clock on Channel 4. Do not miss it. Thank you.